Welcome back to my channel. It's Lily aka Glamly Slays and I'm glad you guys are back and if this is your first time here Be sure to subscribe and like this video and make sure to hit that notification bell so you get to see all my videos and So moving forward onto this look that I just decided to do out of nowhere. This is my soft holiday glam look This is like for the girls that aren't that th like not the how do I explain it? They're not the extra, extra girl in their family. They still like to be fierce as fuck, but they're not like, you know, the extra one. Where it's just everything soft, subtle, and they're like naturally pretty, so fuck you. But this is for y'all. And for me, I'm the extra one. I'm the one who shows up in like a gown for Thanksgiving dinner. So that's just me. And I have a tutorial coming out for girls that are just like that. So if you want to see how I did this look, just continue watching. Okay, so I already did my eyebrows off camera, and I'm just going to jump right into my eyeshadow. I am using the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, and I am going to go in with the shade Musk. And I am just going to smoke out my crease with a Morphe. I don't know, it doesn't have the number on it. It's one of the cheap ones. So I'm just starting at, like, mid-crease, and I'm just going to use soft strokes and start to create a crease. I'm using back and forth motion and circular motions just to buff it out really well. Okay, so now that we got the crease part down, I am just going to focus musk on the outer corner and inner corner of my eye. And on the outer corner, I am blending it inwards. Just very softly. Just focusing the product right here, right by the inner corner of the eye and brushing it inwards and into the crease. And I'm just using a very light hand. So. Not too crazy. Okay. Next up, I am taking a small Morphe concealer brush. It's like super tiny and going in with a concealer that is close to my shade. And I'm going to focus it right here on the lid. And I'm going to take that up all the way to the crease right here. And make sure the top is circular and goes along with your crease. So going in with my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette, I am taking the shade Primavera, which is about almost gone. Buff that like this and press it onto the lid. And follow the concealer. And I'm just gonna take it like this so it's angled like this, and I'm just going to do soft strokes onto musk. So going back in with the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, I'm going to be using this dark brown shade right here, which is Oud, I want to say. I think you call it Oud. I'm taking a smaller Morphe blending brush, and I'm just going to focus on the outer and inner corner of the eye and blend this into the shade Primavera. So first, I'm just going to tap it on there and then buff it in. So I'll do the same with the other eye. Of course, we wouldn't do it differently, but you know. So I'm just pressing and pushing in lightly and then buffing it or blending it, whatever word you want to use to get the gist. So, on to the eyeliner, which is the last part of the eyes besides the eyelashes. I am using the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Superstar Eyeliner, and I'm just going to line the eyelash line. So, 
So starting on my face, I am going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance that I got in my Ipsy November Glam Bag. I'm just going to dot it onto my face. Now on to my face, I am using the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible, and in the shade 208. Okay, and for concealer, I am using the L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible in the shade 201, and it's just very light, so I just want a very light, airy highlight, you know? We still gonna bake though. I'm going to take this new brush that I also got in my November Ipsy bag as well. And I'm just going to contour with this. Just tapping the excess off. And then I'm just going to lightly brush. So I'm just gonna go through with this foundation brush and I'm just going to blend everything in, the bronzer. And there's no extra product on this. I mean, I need to use it for powder foundation, so whatever's left on there is just helping blend everything else in. And I'm just going to focus Oud on the outer corner of the waterline. And I'm just going to connect the shadows. And then the inner corner. I'm going back in with Primavera. And I'm going to focus that on the center of the lid. So just so it mimics the top part of the eye. So for highlighter, I am using the Joseph Colors collaboration with Desi and Katie, and I am using the shade Fuego. And I'm just going to pop those onto the cheekbones. Okay, so onto the lips, I am using the Sarahi collection with ColourPop, and I'm using the shade Kirby. My fillers have gone down a little bit, so I'm still like learning where my lips are at. So using the Dose of Colors, uh, Desi and Katie, I am using the shade No Shade. And I'm just going to pop that onto the lip. So for the final step, I am using the Dose of Colors over the top. Okay, so this is the finished look for this very soft holiday glam. If you're not the extra person at your family but you love makeup and you just want to wear something soft, I think this is for you. You know, it's a soft glam. It's still glam. It's still like light. It's light, but it's very wearable. It's like not too much makeup and you know, if you're not the extra one in your family but you still pop in and you want to wear like a soft glam, I believe this look is for you. So if you guys really like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you really love me, you'll hit that notification bell so you can follow all of my videos. So I hope to see you guys in my next look. Bye! I felt like the Crypt Keeper coming out like... <laughs>